So guys, Boohoo, this known clothing supplier that we all have probably bought something from, is now being exposed for horrific, let's just say, allegations. And it is, it's just awful, man. Like, how are you paying somebody it's just too much. Hey guys, it's Murad Murali. Hope you guys are doing well today. If you haven't already, click that button for hourly and consistent content. Head over to my Instagram, subscribe to the channel, and let's get into this video because these allegations are extremely serious. So I would like to reiterate the seriousness of this video. Boohoo are facing a modern slavery investigation after reports find that Leicester workers were paid as little as £3.50 an hour when they really should be paying £8.72 is the minimum wage, but you're paying them £3.50. Online fashion giant Boohoo is facing a modern slavery investigation after workers in Leicester making clothes linked to the company were found to have been paid as little as £3.50 an hour. The clothing brand has been a rare financial success story during the current crisis, but has recently been accused of putting employees at risk of COVID-19 as well by working with factories which continue to operate during the UK's lockdown. An investigation by the Sunday Times found a factory in Leicester displaying the sign Jazz World Fashions was operating during the city's localised lockdown down last week without social distancing measures in place. The report said an undercover journalist who worked at the factory for two days was told to expect pay of only £3.50 an hour, well below the UK minimum wage of £8.72. For workers aged 25 and over, you're paying, you're really paying me £3.50 when you should be paying me £8.72 minimum. And I've got a family at home to provide for and I'm working in these factories. You're really telling me, are you actually mad? Clothes made in the factory were reported under the label Nasty Girl which is owned by Boohoo. These mother Fs know how to exploit people like us. They make profits like hell and pay us in peanuts, a foreman at the factory said. The allegations came after Priti Patel, the Home Secretary, asked the National Crime Agency to investigate claims of modern slavery in clothing factories in the city. This is crazy, man. A statement from Nasty Girl, as they've spoken out now, seen by the Sunday Times, said that Jaswell Fashions was not a direct supplier, but added it would investigate the claims. Nasty Girl does not allow any of its suppliers to pay less than the minimum wage. Blah, de blah, de blah, de blah, de blah. Nonsense, nonsense, nonsense. We have terminated relationships with suppliers. You've terminated them now, but, would, but did, would you have terminated them if there was any investigation? I don't think you would have, Boohoo. Earlier this week, the way I'm really slamming Boohoo right now, like I, like I promise you, I don't care about going to Boohoo events. I don't care with my chest. I actually don't. Do you understand? Like, I, I, I don't. So I don't really care. Earlier this week, the group Labour behind the label said it has received reports from workers of alleged furlough fraud as well, low wages, modern slavery, and illegal openings of factories during lockdown. The group also said it had received reports, guys, get this, this is crazy, of employees being told to come to work even if they were showing symptoms of COVID. It is heartbreaking to see grotesque inequality when some people profit so much while there are workers at the bottom of the chain whose lives are being put at risk. In a statement, Boohoo said it would not tolerate any incidents of non-compliance, especially in relation to the retreatment of workers, and said it has terminated relationships with suppliers which had been found out to have been broken rules. I feel like they're really going to be doing damage control. Okay, they're brand. They're going to be doing damage control. That is granted. PR, team, etc., etc. But this idea of we have terminated suppliers now, we will not be working with these people for what they did. You knew what they were doing because you were benefiting of it for so freaking damn long. Now it's coming to the air. Now the articles are talking about it. Now that it's trending on Twitter, now there wants to be some damage control, suddenly you're going to terminate suppliers as if you weren't the ones who knew what was going on. Don't act like you're putting your hand in now, you're literally mixing around, you appreciate everything going on, as soon as people see what you're doing, you're pulling out your fraudulent hand as if it was, as if it was not you that put your hand in the pot in the first place. Are you mad? Are you actually mad? Because that doesn't make any sense at all. Like, who told you to put your hand in the meat pot? to take that last bit of chicken. Who told you to do it? Nobody, but you put your hand in there. And now you're, you're taking your hand out as if it wasn't you who put your hand in in the first place. This is why I find it to be so barbaric because you have these companies who really wanna just detach from all of these allegations and accusations and fraudulent concerns and all this disgusting stuff. When you guys knew what you were doing and you were doing it with your chest, why? Because you were benefiting off the kind of modern slavery labor 
work that these workers are put through and I did a video ages ago on Kylie Jenner and Kendall Jenner who apparently it came out that they weren't paying their workers in Bangladesh and listen whether they it would they knew that they weren't whether it was their fault or not they are the face of the brand and you need to know the ins and outs of everything going on within your brand and if you are telling me that you didn't know the people that are under you are not paying the Bangladeshi works and so forth you are also to blame because that also shows a lack of competence a lack of understanding of your brand and people and it just shows that you're just there to do a pretty face and that it, it is but and that is it which basically kind of just shows a lack of authenticity so you know it's annoying because you have her like talking about how many cars they have and so forth but you're not paying your workers it's just really irritating and it highlights the disgusting kind of capitalism that we are seeing here and we shop at so many of these brands but they're not really paying the people that actually bring the clothes for us and it's just modern day slavery at its finest boo are being exposed and i'm here for it let me know your thoughts are when it comes to this subscribe to the channel and i'll catch you guys soon for another video